Hi, this tutorial will go through exporting to an ebook with Scrivener, covering both EPUB export and exporting to Amazon's Kindle. The EPUB format can be used with many physical digital e readers and applications, including the Nook, Sony Reader, Adobe Digital Editions, Stanza, and iBooks on the iPad, having gone via iTunes. My intention here is to show you how swiftly you can create a professional looking ebook with Scrivener. You will notice many fine tuning options that are covered in greater depth by our manual. As we have completed our draft in Scrivener, let's go straight to File, Compile. Within Compile 4, I have got EPUB eBook as an option. You may have noticed that compilation options in Scrivener 2 are contextual, altering depending on what type of file we are compiling to. I have already selected what documents I want compiling from my draft, so I can move on from contents and go through the remaining options. Formatting is interesting to us. Although we do not have any text containers in our draft, we do have folders and text documents. I will choose to include the titles of both when compiling my ebook. Body text is good for all document text, but for titles, we probably want to choose a heading. And for folder titles, I will pad them eight lines down the page and center. For document titles, I'm going to choose heading three then add a title prefix. This will add chapter numbers before our document titles, separating each by a couple of carriage returns. The processing options defaults look fine for what we want to achieve. We can add a few section breaks within separators to ensure the ebook has clearly denoted sections. We also want to add a cover image. As you can see, the images contained within my project are readily available. Within ebook options, I want my table of contents to have structure and be generated as HTML. I also know there are a couple of footnotes in my draft, so I'm going to change my EndNotes title to my footnotes. Text options and HTML options look fine. The metadata section allows us to provide some information about our ebook. I already have the title and author covered. The language code is EN for English, but any pertinent two letter language code can be denoted. If you have a unique identifier that you want to provide, like an ISBN number, tick the relevant box and add it. Every ebook requires a unique code, but Scrivener will automatically generate this as long as the box is unticked. Replacements let you change words in your draft on the fly, but we're okay. I don't want to remove my footnotes, so the options for footnotes, comments, look good too. We're ready to compile. After choosing a title and location, and completing the export, I can open the file with Adobe Digital Editions. My compiled ebook is revealed, and I can navigate to any chapters within parts one or two, look at my cover image, and readily see where my footnotes are contained within the ebook. Incidentally, I can check the veracity of any ePub file that I generate by visiting this website. I simply choose the location of my file and press the validate button. If everything is fine with my EPUB creation, I get a nice green tick and passed is stated on the site. After dropping my EPUB file into books within iTunes, I can also sync to iBooks on my iPad and flick through my exported book page by page. If you fancy reading your eBook on the Kindle, the first step is to choose Kindle eBook from within Compile 4. You will notice that the options are initially greyed out and that you are instructed about how to install a Kindle Gen. After agreeing to the terms of use, you can download Kindle Gen from the linked website. Once you have pointed Scrivener towards the location of your installed Kindle Gen, all the compilation options become live. These options are almost identical to those found for the EPUB ebook file generation and are cleverly remembered. After the briefest of checks, I am ready to compile my ebook for viewing on the Kindle. I can readily use Amazon's Kindle Previewer application to see that everything is in order. Flicking through the pages of my compiled ebook again on a different platform. Okay, that concludes our video introduction on exporting to an ebook with Scrivener. I hope that it was helpful. Thank you for watching.